Hello, my name is Alyssa Rash, and I am the Benton County Public Information Officer. Between Friday and Monday, Benton County reported four new cases of COVID-19. All of these individuals are female. One is under 20, two are in their 20s, and one is in her 30s. None of these individuals are hospitalized. Today, Benton County reports 11 new cases of COVID-19. Four people are under 20, one is male, and three are female. Three people are in their 20s, one is male, and two are female. One person is a male in his 30s, one person is a female in her 40s, one person is a male in his 50s, and one person is a male in his 60s. None of these individuals are hospitalized. As you may have heard, Benton County was added to the governor's COVID-19 watch list as of Friday, October 2nd, because of our high rate of COVID-19 cases without a direct link to a known case. This is otherwise known as sporadic cases or community spread. While watch list can be a concerning term, it's not a punishment. The watch list will direct more state resources to Benton County to assist with case investigation and contact tracing, as well as assistance with entering test results into the state communicable disease database. Counties added to the watch list will remain on the list for a minimum of three weeks and until their sporadic cases of COVID-19 are under 50 cases per 100,000 people. In addition to the state's resources, Benton County is also immediately hiring seven new contact tracers. This is in addition to the five contact tracers that we hired around Labor Day. All of these resources will go a long way toward our contact tracing and case investigation efforts. The biggest factor to getting Benton County off of the governor's watch list will be lowering the spread of COVID-19 in our community. We all play a part in keeping ourselves, our loved ones, and our community safe. We do this by continuing to closely follow public health guidance, such as correctly wearing a face covering, frequently washing our hands, and maintaining physical distance from others. Please do your part to keep Benton County healthy. Stay safe and be well.